Now we're at Gathering File Settings and Programs. It was getting all the programs ready so, so I could have it on Windows 7. And okay, for XP users, Windows XP users, you will need to do a clean installation. So in order to run Windows 7, all you XP lovers, and you'll need a DVD drive so you can be able to install Windows 7 because Windows 7 is on DVDs. And certain countries got the home basic. Well, they don't have it here in the U.S. But if you want the whole, you can get the ultimate version if you want everything. But professional has a few things like ultimate, but two, doesn't have two things that ultimate has. You just gotta re look on the box. On each copy, when you buy a Windows 7, you always look on the back to see what features it come with. So far, it's getting ready, and it's been running smooth. So far, I gotta check. Then you gotta have the internet, or go on, get on the phone to activate your copy. And we move on to the next one. And I'll see you there. Now we're going to expanding Windows files. So it's going to go ahead and prepare the Windows installation files. So far it went good. You know, it's taking time. And it's fix, making all the files ready. Then after that, then I gotta go activate it. And it's been running pretty smooth. It's probably gonna run great after, after all this installation. Well, if you have a Mac, you can use the Boot Camp program to install Windows 7 on your Macintosh computer. If you don't like the Mac OS X and you got a Mac. But the only thing you'll need if you have a Mac, your Mac OS X CD so you can install all the drivers from your Mac. So you could run them on Windows 7. And you must have the same requirements as the ones off the PC. I'm good. I'm good enough to run Windows 7. I got three gigabytes of RAM, and I got a 250 gigabyte hard drive, and I saved a lot of room, so I can go ahead and run Windows 7. Expanding 17 percent. It's been going good. And well, then whenever I move to the next one, well, I'll let you know. And I'll pause on certain parts, you know. No, it's telling me that Windows needs to restart the computer. I don't want to restart my computer after. Because I already know it's going to restart several times during on the upgrade with every Windows installation. Just being patient. And this is, this version is pretty much better than Vista. 
Better than XP. But one thing. This version does have the Windows Genuine Advantage. So, if you got more than one computer, you could buy a family pack with three product keys and three DVDs of each for a home premium. So, you could be able to buy it at certain stores.